welcome back and today i'll be telling the story of the blue jackal you might have heard the blue jackal story on panchatantra it's a very popular story so without further ado let's go the blue jackal on the edge of a town a jackal was hunting fireflies when a rather plump one landed on a wall in front of him he thought his hunt was over i have you now he boasted he drew back his ears flattened his paws on the ground sank down low and bounced the jackal flew through the air but so did the firefly fast as a shooting star it sped out of reach of the jackal's outstretched paws the jackal continued his flight up and over the wall straight into the backyard of the clothes dryer's house he landed with a yip and a splash in a tub of blue dye ah oh, what is this he complained as the cold wet dye seeped into his fur he tried to scramble out but the sides of the tub were high and slippery and he was far too small help me he begged but nobody came when the clothes dyer arrived the next day he was shocked to discover a jackal fast asleep in his precious dye he reached down grabbed the jackal by the scruff of his neck and hauled him out now go he boomed and dropped the jackal on the other side of the wall startled the jackal darted into the forest not stopping until he reached the banks of a stream he paused for a moment to catch his breath and let out a gasp reflected in the stream was a jackal with the most spectacular coat he had ever seen it's blue he whispered gazing down at his own reflection in awe i am blue a magnificent beautiful bright blue i have never seen such fantastic fur the other animals are going to be so jealous the jackal strutted through the forest parading his new coat for all to see soon he came across a monkey who bowed to him on sight and asked what kind of creature are you i'm a wonderful one of course replied the jackal with a grin and he continued on his way next came a prowling tiger who eyed the jackal suspiciously then bowed just as the monkey had i could get used to this thought the jackal by the time the jackal arrived home another monkey a pair of parrots and an elephant had all bowed to him he was feeling very important indeed the other jackals were not so impressed they crowded around him sniffing him nipping at him and prodding him with their paws as if he were a stranger how did this happen asked one jackal you do look silly said another silly snarled the blue jackal could they not say how magnificent he was this wouldn't do no this would not do at all he pondered for a moment then asked would you dare to call the forest goddess silly certainly not replied the oldest jackal though in truth he could not recall if he had ever seen or even heard of a forest goddess before well last night the forest goddess came to me said the blue jackal holding himself tall and proud she said i have chosen you to be the king of the forest and she turned me blue as a sign of my royalty she said that from now on all the animals in the forest must do as i say so tell me do you still think i look silly the jackals backed away unsure of what to do next then the oldest jackal bowed down before him and one by one the rest of them followed no your majesty they said in unison and the blue jackal smiled smugly news of the blue jackal quickly spread around the forest and soon all kinds of animals were making their way to see the forest king i hear he speaks to the forest and gets it to do what he pleases hoot 
hooted a little owl, gazing at the jackal from her treetop home. I have never seen anything like him. Some even say the bears of the east know of him and fear him, said a bat hanging from a branch below. Look at how the tigers and the elephants bow down to him, said a snake coiled up nearby. If he has such great animals serving him, then the stories must be true. More and more animals flocked to the blue jackal and with each new servant he gained, the more pleased with himself he became. I am truly the greatest king in this forest as ever known. He thought as he rode along the back of an elephant. He looked around in glee at the tigers, the monkeys and all the animals that served him. Then he caught sight of the jackals looking so small and scruffy, so unworthy of such a mighty king that he frowned. I have no need for you anymore, he called down to them. None of you are worthy for me. The jackal was stunned. Was he talking to them? Well, what are you waiting for? sneered the blue jackal. I have better sailors to attend me. You may all go. Leave my kingdom and never return. One jackal tried to speak up, but a tiger suddenly turned on him, growling menacingly and swiping at him with her claws. The jackals dashed out of the forest. They stopped in a field. Furious at how rudely the blue jackal had treated them, the oldest jackal decided something had to be done. Listen, he called to his brothers. The forest animals serve the blue jackal because he, they think he's something special. But really, he's no different from any of us. All we have to do is prove it and I know how. As the sun slipped below the horizon and the moon rose to take its place, the jackals gathered on the edge of the forest. Ready? called the oldest one. Now! he cried, and together they lifted their nose to the sky and howled. Their howls carried through the forest between trees and over streams. The blue jackal's ears twitched. He knew that sound. Without thinking, he glanced up at the bright moon in the sky and let out a howl of his own. When he finished, he looked around and noticed all his servants were staring at him. What? he asked, confused. Haven't you seen a king howl before? Never, said an elephant thoughtfully. But I have seen a jackal howl. That's it, exclaimed a monkey with a laugh. He is no king. He's just a plain old jackal. The other animals screwed up their eyes, then opened them wide to take a fresh look at their king. What the monkey said was true. He was a jackal. We have been fooled, growled the tigers. Get him, trumpeted the elephants. Amidst a chorus of angry roars, hisses and shrieks, the animals chased the jackal out of the forest and far into the distance. Since then, not a single blue hare has been spotted in the forest and he hasn't been heard of since. The End Thank you so much for watching today's video and if you like this video, pl uh, please give us a like, share and subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Toodles guys!